you know how to do translations when they flat out tell you how to do it, but um, how do you handle this arrow notation? They still want you to translate point M, but it looks a lot different. So take a look at this. This means, hey, take every point. That's what this X, Y uh, in order pair um, setup looks like. They say take every point and then see this arrow right here? They say take a look at the X's. We want you to subtract one from every X. So if we were at five and we subtracted one, we would go to the four. If we were at zero and we subtracted one, we would go to negative one. So basically it's a mathematical way of saying, would you go left one? See where it says minus one? That means go left one. Okay, we can do that. So we go to the M and uh, we'd go left one. Now the Y, nothing's happening to it. It's not being plus or minus. So that means don't go up, don't go down. We just want to go left one. So go to M, move it to the left once, and label it M prime. We're done. Let's take a look at this arrow notation. So again, um, this just means every single um, dot needs to be, take a look over here at the X's, X minus seven means go left seven. And if it says Y minus one, Think about if we were at zero on the y-axis, if we minus one, we would go down. So y minus one means go down one. So to the left seven, down one. Take the three vertexes, the corner points, and do that. So m is going to go left seven, and then down one. Put your new dot, label it in prime. Do the same for n. Do the same for O. Draw your new figure. You'll notice that I moved my letters out of the way because it was starting to be a mess where I had them written originally. My line would have cut into them. Yes, that will be a headache that you run into on paper. Just erase it. Make it as neat as you can. Okay. And again, after you've translated this, I just want to show you the triangles are the same size. In fact, they are congruent in every way. Same angle, same length, everything. What about this one right here? What would this mean? Well, every point means it needs to go to the right four, and y plus three means it would go up three. So we're gonna take a and go to the right four, and then up three. Make the new point, call it a prime. Do the same for b, do the same for c. Make the triangle, and guess what? This prime triangle, if we've translated it, it's the exact same uh, size as before, just in a new location.